It's spinning. We're live. Yay. Waiting for it to pop up on YouTube. But hey, guys, look. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> I found a Kim. <laughs> Is that showing up live on mine? Hold on. Guys. Hold on. Can you see us, Can Pat? Some, okay. Yeah. yeah, there's a delay. I see us now. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lag. Like, my YouTube hasn't even showed up yet. But hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine of Side Street Market, in case you don't know. And this fabulous lady next to me here is Kim of Oh My Vintage. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and Kim agreed to come hang out with me and, and uh, do a joint sale tonight. She usually has her sales on her channel at 6 Eastern every Tuesday. So if you're not subscribed to Kim, her info is below. Her channel is Oh, oh My Vintage. And uh, be sure to go check her out, subscribe. She's also a reseller. She has a fabulous Etsy shop of which I've purchased many a piece of jewelry and <laughs> and her and a hubby also sell on eBay. So be sure to check out all her info. Kim, did you want to add anything to that? Or uh, No, you did a great introduction. <laughs> Yay, I'm getting the hang of this. And uh, yeah. um, oh, so again, it's a live sale. If you've not been to one before, what we do is we hold up an item, we describe it, we tell you a price, and then we give you a number. If you want to try to win the item, you type the number in the chat. Make sure you are in live chat and not top chat, otherwise you won't see all the notes. First one we see on our end to uh, have the number in the chat wins the item. If there's an offer up, what will happen is we'll show the item and we'll say this item's going to start at $10, and you guys can start putting in prices in dollar increments if you'd like to try to purchase it and to, to uh, I never know how to phrase it. Yeah. <laughs> but most of you know, and we have moderators in the room helping out. They're the ones with the wrenches. They have the power. So if you have questions, put it in all caps. They will help if we can't see it because the chat does move fast and there has been a lag. Um, our prices do not include shipping, and we do not combine shipping because Kim is in New Jersey and I am in Florida. But we are <laughs> shipping from the East Coast, so keep that in mind of purchasing. If you're in the central part of the states, it may be a little cheaper than if you're on the West Coast, so just keep that in mind. But uh, we each have 15 items tonight, and we're ready to show you all the pretty stuff. Um, oh, can I add in one more thing? Of course. Uh, also, I mean... Uh, I know everyone um, has different internet uh, connections, so uh, some people may be lagging or something. So if Christine or I uh, show an item that a lot of people have a lot of interest in and you want to get a chance uh, to get that item, uh, just type in uh, in all caps offer up if, uh, if that's what you all want to do. <laughs> um, just so you can all get a chance. So just let us know and we'll see it. And uh, Christine will be like, oh yeah, we can start this at so-and-so dollars, you know? <laughs> yeah, because tonight I don't have anything designated for an offer up yet. But if I hold up something and we see a bunch of you going, ooh, then maybe I'll swap it to an offer up so you guys can have a chance. <laughs> and Mr. Chapter 2 is in the house, I see. And we've got... Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, I see Trisha Sandinato going real fast, guys, so I'm sorry. It's uh, Tina Marie's here. Oh, I know I forgot how how you pay us. You might yeah. want to do that. <laughs> oh, my niece is here. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, <laughs> hi. So as you can see, we each have our emails on the screen under our picture. So if you buy an item from either of us, um, we need you to email us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and um, your PayPal email in case it's different than the email you're emailing from. For those who have bought from me before, I am going to ask if you can just resend me your information. I had some com computer work done on my computer, and <laughs> registries and caches all got cleared. So um, I lost some stuff. So just you know, send me things again and. Kim, is that pretty much the same for you? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you pretty much went over everything. Okay. So, I mean, hi, everyone. My sister's in here, too. Hi. <laughs> hey, Alex. <laughs> hi, Alex. Hi, Beth. Hi, Judy. Hi, Sierra. Hi, <laughs> I know I always say hi to everyone, but I can't. 
Um, Go ahead. Feel free. We're just letting them no, all it'll, in. It'll take forever. Okay. <laughs> so well, does. in that case, maybe I should show a couple of items and we'll get this started. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to, um, or do you want to keep the dual screen? Do you think that's okay? Unless you have a bigger item, I'll make you. Um, I think it should be fine. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, if I'm having trouble, I'll let you know. I mean, okay. and, and uh, you guys let us know if you want Christine to be bigger and I'll be in the little box or something. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I know sometimes when I have linens, I was holding it up and it's like way past the, okay. so we can switch then. But yeah. all right. uh, what am I gonna show first? All right, how about a little St. Patrick's Day fun? So this first item is a little ceramic, oh, okay. It's a little ceramic votive with four leaf clovers on it. It has a gold rim. And I, I think this is probably a votive holder. But on the bottom, it actually says, it says Cork, Ireland. So it actually is from Ireland. And I just thought this would be really cute for a little tear tray or St. Patrick's Day display. So this first guy is $5 and number 63. That'd be really cute with like an air plant or succulent. Oh yeah. I've had this for a while too. Like I found this like summer of last year. I'm like, I gotta save that for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> That's the first one there. Also a shout out to our beside behind the scenes helpers. I've got <laughs> John, my hubby, he's over here on the computer helping out. He's John Cantrell in the chat. And I know him has her helper, Patrick. Yeah, too. yeah Patrick's over here. If you heard some crumpling, that's the him snacking. <laughs> <laughs> Got you gotta eat. You gotta eat. Um also did you want us to announce like after um oh. or or did you want to do that like uh later on, like who who won each item or um well yeah we can say it as it goes through. So John, was it Michelle got that one? Newton's cover got scored that one. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to know if I could announce it like after. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no worries. We're good. We're working it out, guys. We're working it out. <laughs> so next up, I have this flower trinket box that actually like looks like a flower from the side. The bottom does have some age wear, like where it was probably scraped on a dresser. But I just thought it was it's a real cute clean interior. And I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm always finding the square ones, but I've never found one that's actually, it reminds me of like a mum plant with all the layers. But this guy is going to be $9 and number 71. $9, number 71. <laughs> oh, is Fatbird Vines here? Hello. Hi, Fatbird Vines. Okay. <laughs> And what do I want to do for my third one? Oh, no. All right. How about a little cutie? So I have this little itty bitty piano baby. <laughs> it's, only, it's only, well, it would help if I'm not on, on millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> it's about three and a half inches tall. And it's just a cute, I think it's a little girl because it has a little pink bow. But the one thing I didn't notice until I got home was she's had a little head reattachment, but oh, it was done really well. Oh, I didn't so, even notice that. <laughs> yeah, it's just right here. You can kind of see it. And then she has like some sticker remains. Oh, her little tush. <laughs> but I mean, it's pretty clean on this side. I'm trying to make sure you guys can really see it. But from the front, she looks perfect. And I just thought she'd be so adorable. So she is $6 and number 65. And now it's your turn, Kim. Oh, yeah. That went fast. <laughs> okay, so, hey, everybody. Um, uh, okay. Oh, oh. So, I have this. Here we go. This boy figurine under, like, a green umbrella. Um, is wearing, like, an orange scarf. You can see that. <laughs> and I think that's a, a chicken or a hen. You guys tell me. I don't know. 
<laughs> like a little hen. Yeah. And then on the bottom it says there's a Made in Japan uh, sticker there. Um, and there's no chips and no cracks. And I just thought it was cute because of like the green umbrella, perfect for St. Patrick's Day decor. And then it could transition to Easter. You know, he's he's talking to the hen saying like, Shh, there's a live sale going on. So, <laughs> um, so this is three and a half inches tall and uh, two and one eighth inches in diameter. If you like this item, it is um, $9 and it's, <laughs> number four, nine dollars. Number four for the cute boy under the umbrella. Yeah, I say like April showers tear tray, you know, like the same yeah. flowers. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it'd be good so you can keep it from March uh, to April. Yeah. Um. Okay, two more. So my next item, I have. That, do you see that? Yep. Okay, Belinda so Carol. Belinda Carroll won number four. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so my next item, I have a set of two books and they're a uh, Rand McNally uh, Junior Elf books. Okay, so I'll show you the first one. <laughs> So this one is the Jolly Jingle book. And you know, there's just minor wear on the outside from being used. And um, there's some writing on the inside here, uh, just like I guess who it belonged to. Um, and this one is the copyrights 1951. And I'll show you just a few of the illustrations. I thought it was really cute. Um, like, feel like the junk journal are like children's books, but they're really cute illustrations. And then, uh, oh, Dad. <laughs> oh, there's like a cute puppy. Oh, that's a great one. Right? I just love the illustrations. I almost kept this one, but it's like I can't <laughs> I can't keep it. <laughs> it's so uh, hard. Yeah, and then here you go. There's a cat for you cat lovers. Oh. And uh, there's a grandma making pie. <laughs> so yeah, this is from 1951. And then the second book is uh it's called I Want New. And you know, there's just some minor wear as well on the outside, just from being used. And it's the same thing with some writing on the inside. Um, uh, the copyright's 1967. And I, hold on. And then the illustrations are cute. It kind of looks like it's like crayon drawings on the inside. Uh, like, look at this guy. He's flying to the moon with a balloon. <laughs> um, Space uh, adventures. Yeah, so you could do whatever. And then I don't know what's going on here. There's like a mouse combing its wig. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was on the phone for a minute. <laughs> yeah. But they're really cute illustrations. And if you like to collect children's books um, or use junk journaling, whatever, this is uh, eight, whoops, eight dollars uh, for the two books, number nine. So eight dollars, number nine for the set of two books. Okay. And then, uh, Let's see, Cindy J. Cindy J, thank you. And then, where's my, oh, here. My third item here is, uh, <clears throat> it's a, this beautiful white and blue uh, floral creamer, we'd like to focus. <laughs> uh, while it's focusing, not on my face. It's like everything's opposite, whoops, on StreamYard. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Royal Copenhagen. There's no chips or cracks. 
hopefully you can see that. Hold on. Sorry. At least I'm connected to StreamYard. <laughs> but no just for crack, I promise you. There you go. You see that? Let's get it while it's full. Really pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty if you put, put some flowers or whatever you want in here. And um, there's the signage on the bottom. And this is uh, three and a half inches tall uh, and one and three eighth inches in diameter. Um, and this creamer is $9 uh, for number seven. Uh, Nine dollars, number seven, for this fabulous creamer. <laughs> so those are my three. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a second to let it catch up. Okay. Oh, here we go. Is that? <laughs> I see my niece. Oh, uh, talking about it? Yeah, Alessandra Tiang. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. I miss you. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> our, our Nate popped in. Hi, Nate. <laughs> and AJ's retro, and I saw Julie come in. So we've got some more people popping in. Yay. Hi, right. <laughs> So those are uh, my three for this round. <laughs> okay. So I have a set of, um, these are ceramic glazed candlesticks. Ooh, perfect. For I thought they'd be really cool for like St. Patrick's Day or just if you collect ceramics, they're just that great. And uh, they have, they don't feel bisque or anything because they're um, glazed, but you can have a candle on each end there. They're not marked. They feel like more of like a home studio type piece. Mm -hmm. So that is the first one. And then this is the second one. But the second one has a little boo-boo. So if you can see on the underside, someone has repaired the tip of it. But a little bit of green watercolor would take care of that. And it's on the underside. And so when you're looking at it from here, you don't really see it. But they'd be really cute staged together. So those guys are $8 and number 68. Eight dollars, number sixty-eight. Nice. There's such a pretty green. I know that's what yeah. I liked about them, and I thought, you know, with the damage, I tried to, you know, price them so hopefully they'll get a good home. Yeah. And I think I saw Alex grab those. Oh, yay. Alex. They'll still have far to go. <laughs> All right. So next up. I have a little bit of redware. So this is a cute little redware donkey figurine. Aww. <laughs> He's got like great age to him. His paint isn't too worn. It's just that really nice combo. This is little face. I just really like them. I don't know if he held anything because his saddle does stick out a little on each end, but it does have the red clay bottom. This little guy is $10 and number 64. $10.64 for the cute little donkey. I really like the glaze work on him. Okay, Alex. Hi, Laura. <laughs> oh, oh, Julie. Oh, hi, Julie at AJ's Retro. <laughs> Alex, if you can just email me um, their info, because I don't think they've bought from me before. And I'll make sure it gets to them. Oh, that's nice of you, Alex. <laughs> I'm just going to write it here so I don't forget. Sorry, guys. Oh, hi, Lori. I don't think I said hi to you. And Trisha. <laughs> I know I said hi, everyone. but <laughs> Okay. Um, and last up, how about a little bit of linens from me? So these are some doilies. And it is a set of three. And they're this cute peachy pink color. They that's are crocheted. Pretty. <laughs> pink pink so there's that one and i and this one is the larger one like this one's the one with a different pattern in the center how it has the two buds these both have a single bud so these i would think be more like for your end table under a lamp and then this one was more for like a center on a coffee table they have no stains and no issues and for the set of three 
They are $8 and number 61. Do you hear the banging of my neighbors upstairs? <laughs> Sorry. And I think I did three. Yes. Okay, <laughs> <Back cool. to laughs> um, okay so my next item is an offer up item. Um, uh, it's, hold on. What, hold on, I'll show it for you. <laughs> so it's this uh, green depression uh, uranium glass cup and saucer. I'll show you the cup uh, first. Um, my offer up starting is uh, my husband Patrick's going to type it in there. So it's uh, starting at 15 and it does glow. Um, let me, I just want to show you first. So if you're interested, just start at 15. It's just for what this one cup and saucer. So it's for um, this uh, federal glass uh, parrot building uh, cup. <laughs> and uh, it has the letter F. This one? Oh, no, sorry. It's on the saucer. I'll show you in a second. Um, but it's so pretty. If you look closely, you can see the parrot. Um, and I'll show you the glow in a second. And then there's like a flower basket in the here. <laughs> and like all these pretty girly, uh, what would you say that? In, like, I don't know, curve. Whatever. <laughs> <It's pretty. laughs> and then uh, pretty like flower over flowers on, along the border. I just want to show this saucer. And then you can also see it on the saucer. You can see the parrots and the same pattern. Um, but I'll sh that's going to turn off the light in a second. Um, just so I could show you the glow. It's going to be a club up in here now. <laughs> Just turning off the lights. It's really pretty. Um, <laughs> oh, here, I'll put it together. So I see yeah. Michelle at Newton's cupboard, but it does glow. Oh, like this. Like that. I'll bring it closer. But it does glow. It's very cool. So, so far, I just see Michelle <laughs> at 50. Michelle, this is such a pretty cup and saucer. Um, That's really a great find, that one. Yeah, it'd be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. And then you could put, I, I didn't know that there was like black light fairy lights or something. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, on. yeah. So I'm just going to count down. Um, uh, so I'm just going to count down to five, four. I came in at 18. Oh, okay. Judy's at 18. If anyone wants to put, more than 18 for this wonderful sorry, Michelle. <laughs> federal <laughs> sorry Michelle, for this wonderful federal glass um it's also i also saw that it said like sylvan i don't know pattern but i like to call it the parrot because you can see the parrots in here um so if uh, anyone wants it more than 18 then i'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm just going to count down now, but more than 18, so I'm going to count down, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we're going to Judy, uh, is it Scallet? It's Scallet. <laughs> like, Judy Scallet for um, uh, 18, right, Pat? Yep. Yeah. So thank you, Judy. Um, well, the number Judy also it is um it's number fourteen for the the cup and saucer when you email me, okay? All right. Um, my second item is a necklace. Hold on. Whoops. Okay. One moment, please. <laughs> Try to get this on the deck on the bus form. I might have to hold it because it's longer. Real life. Than life. Real life. <laughs> yeah. This is real life, okay? 
Thanks. Well, for this pretty, let's focus. This pretty uh, 1975 um, lady in yellow and like a green hat in a gold tone frame uh, uh, pendant necklace. And it has like uh, tiny seed beads around it. If I, I'm going to take this off the neck. But you get it, it's a necklace. <laughs> Let's show it like this. Um, and uh, what the cool thing about this necklace is that it's also a brooch. So if you don't want to wear it as a necklace, you can wear it as a brooch. And uh, yeah, you're not focusing for me, lady. <laughs> I'm trying to put it as close as I can. Sorry, Christine. <laughs> oh my God, you have to deal with this. Um, it's fun. We're having fun. No worries. My camera just doesn't want to focus, but you get it, right, people? <laughs> uh, it's really pretty. Um, the length of the necklace is a twenty-four and a half inches long, and then the brooch pendant is like two and a half by two and one eighth inches across. Uh, I don't think it matters for sure. <laughs> the white background. I tried showing it, but it's very pretty. It's actually, oh wait, are you focusing? Yes, no? <laughs> it's very pretty. Um, so if you like this uh, brooch pendant necklace, um, there is some minor wear on the front of it, just from uh, normal wear. Um, it is uh, $18 and it is number one. So $18 number one. For the pretty lady in a uh, yellow hat and green dress. So you could wear it as a brooch or a necklace. <laughs> I just saw Michelle's comment that we're in the club. <laughs> <laughs> um, if anything, I'll try to show that necklace again. Uh, would like to focus for me. <laughs> and then um, my third item. Oh, this one's fun. Okay, so my third item is this fun uh, of a ceramic, uh, it's like a ceramic white kitty cat climbing a music note. <laughs> and on the bottom, uh, it says Omnibus. I don't think you'll be able to see it because it's black, but that's what it said. This is Omnibus. Um, Japan 1987 and it's so cute and there's like two like you could put two flowers or air plant I don't know about I don't know what air plant can fit in there but whatever plant you want in there they're so cute so you could put two flower uh stems in there um and this is uh uh looks like a sm there's a minor chip in the back right there but I think if you put some black paint or something. For the gloss paint, no worries. Yeah, it's it's just, in, it's in the back anyway. So all you gotta do is look at this kitty cat climbing the music note. <laughs> um, but it's, um, uh, I lost my thought. Oh, I didn't, yeah. So it's very cute, it's perfect for the cat lover and music lover in your life. And this kitty cat, Music note uh, planter uh, is um, $10 and it is number five. So $10, number five for the cute kitty cat climbing the music note. Alex said that the company that made that, she thinks is a sister company to Fitz and Floyd. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, she put that in the comments. I didn't know if you got to see that, so. Oh no, I, I didn't. It's funny, I had to look it up because the sticker was actually like kind of rubbed off. And then I, I found out uh, it said it was like from Japan. <laughs> see, vintage thrifted treasure. Oh, Laura. Thank you, Laura. It's very cute. <laughs> Nee, did I do something wrong in the description or did Grammarly correct me correctly? What nee? happened? Nate, Nate is saying, I see you paid attention in your English classes. I just read the video description. He did a laughing face and hearts. So I don't know what I wrote wrong. <laughs> what did you say? Nate, tell I don't, me. I don't, 
what Christine wrote or Pat, tell me what. <laughs> you know, I was supposed to say Kim and I and not Kim and me. <laughs> it's okay. I, I don't, I don't, you know, tomato, tomato. <laughs> 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 so those are my three items. <laughs> All right. Well, next up, I have a cute little girl figurine. Who at first I thought was a um, Joseph original from the eyes, but it's not Mark Joseph at all. It just says Japan on the bottom, and it says hand painted Coronet Japan. So I think this was a series of different girls from around the world. And she is the answer. I think he said, you correctly use Kim and me rather than Kim and I. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I use Grammarly to check myself. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is three and a quarter inches high. And the only issue with her is on her little flower on the front, there is just a little teeny tiny chip. But otherwise, she is in great condition. And this little lady is eight dollars and number seventy-four. Eight dollars number seventy-four. Oh, she's doing a curtsy. <laughs> I know it's so cute. Yeah, it says Cor so I don't know if Coronet is her name, but there were like ones I was looking it up online, there were all different ones that were real popular like a, a couple years ago. Yeah. Did I see Laura got that one? Yeah, she's I see Pitch Thrifted Treasures. Yeah, I see that too. <laughs> okay. Next, I have something for the ephemera people. This is book three. I don't know where two and one are because they yeah. weren't there when I went for it. <laughs> um, it's basically, if you do cross stitch, it's an alphabet book for cross stitch. That's so cool. So it's all these different letters, I guess, in how to um, do cross stitch. And then, so it's all different fancy fonts. So these are actually letters, M, N, O, P, and Q on this side. I'm backwards. <laughs> you can do floral patterns. So that's what would be neat if someone wants to use it for ephemera or to actually like make copies. And someone has notes in here, like here's some more script. So this guy is $5 and number 62. Oh, since my niece is in here, I'm using that mug you gave me. World's Aww. best. Mug. <laughs> That's sweet. It's like I'm on a talk show. Look. <laughs> and last up, I have a little glassware piece. And you guys can let me know, should I do this one as an offer up? It's like a beautiful teal glass divided dish. Would you guys like this as an offer up or just a solid... Let's see if anyone comments. It's a gorgeous color. I love it. Yeah, I liked it too. Oh, sorry. Oh, Alex wants to know if we have any art glass. Oh. Not this time for me. This is the only glass I have. The only glass item I have is the teacup, the uranium teacup and saucer I just pulled. Um, I don't. That's not glass. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do this as a, a um, it's going to be $8 and number 60. $8, number 60 for the divided teal tray. There were no maker's marks on it or anything or any signatures. I just thought it was a really, really pretty color. And I'm seeing Maria or Mariah. Mariah Snap. Snap. Yeah. She got it. <laughs> it's a popular one. Yeah. Three? That was my three. Wow. Oh, wow. That went fast. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, a, I'm, I'm originally from New York. I'm a fast talker. <laughs> I keep thinking like you're on your second one. Meanwhile, I'm over here like talking. We're in the club and stuff. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, my next three items. So, I have another book. I have this book, Who's in Boots, and it has like a, I don't know if you can see it, but it has the holographic cover. Uh, I don't even know if they're, 
I know there's some sort of movement. Maybe it's a castle, right? Well, it looks 3D. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> and uh, the copyright is 1971. Um, just you know, just normal wear on the outside a little bit. Um, I thought it'd be perfect because, like, with the greenery on the inside of him in the uh, going to the castle. Um, and then this would be good to transition to Easter, uh, cause you could like have this section open and then there's like little bunnies on the grass and then he's talking to someone else, I guess. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. Like you could just open up this part with the Easter from St. Patrick's Day. Um, and then there's some more. It just the illustrations are cool. It's almost like what would you say, Pat? Like the uh, like the pup, puppets, like those yeah, puppets or something. I forgot. You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, like those puppets. So it's not just like a drawing. And then there you go. Then there the king and the. Uh, you're eating a feast of food, and there's the cat <laughs> in bed, uh, eating a fancy, I don't know, something. <laughs> but I thought it was a cute one because it has the bunny rabbit and the holographic thing on the cover. Um, so this book is a $10, $10 number two, $10 number two. Okay. Uh, my next item is a planter. I see. You see, see Belinda. Belinda right. Carroll. Thank you, Belinda. Um, the next item I have is a planter, and it's this uh, dark, like golden yellow and green. Uh, oh my gosh, focus please. <laughs> San Francisco uh, Powell Market uh, Hyde Beach Trolley Car. Uh, car, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's a glaze ceramic planter and there's no chips or cracks. And what's cool is that you can see the like conductor here on this side and then you see like all the passengers on this side and it keeps going around and there's a guy backing up. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> uh, it's a cute planter you could put like air plants in here succulents um or i just thought like maybe you could even put your business cards in here because it's like small enough uh this is um four and a half by two and a half inches uh, i just thought it was really cool um and um this planter is a uh, ten dollars and oops $10, <laughs> number eight. So $10, number eight, no chips, no cracks. And I thought you, know, you could put like green plants or something perfect for uh, St. Patrick's Day as well. You can kind of see like there's hints of green in it. Really cool motif. Yeah, I just thought it was cool because it's like a little tr trolley car. <laughs> and then um, my third item is, uh, Oh, I see someone. I see Annette Fane. Pat, do you see her? Nope. Thank you, Annette. Um, yeah. Okay, and my third item, you'll probably be surprised, like, why I didn't keep it? I brought a pretty for people who like pretty stuff, too. <laughs> so it's this pretty oh. light green and pink rose floral painted uh, dish, and it has, like, a gold trim. Uh, I don't think this is really a handle because I feel like I would break it <laughs> if I was like holding it like that. But um, uh, it's really pretty and there's no chips or cracks. And then on the back, it says, um, I don't think you'll be able to see that because it's very tiny. But over here, it says Germany. And then here it says Steve Schroeder. But it's so beautiful. I thought it'd be like a cute backdrop for like a vignette for 
St. Patrick's Day since it's light green and then it can transition to Easter as well for spring. Um, and it's seven and a half inches across and then six and a half inches uh, this way. So you guys are lucky. I'm not keeping this. <laughs> so I got lots of pretty plates. Um, so this item, uh, this dish is um, $12 and it's number 13. $12, number 13. You can use it as a backdrop or a trinket dish for all your pretty stuff or even in the bathroom for like soap and stuff. Whatever you want. <laughs> $12, number 13. Is the word, Nate's asking, is the word Germany is a gothic word script? I don't think. Uh, gothic is in the, the font. No, it's not in script. It's just like, it looks like it's a type font. Like, it's like, looks like it's typed. I mean, not that it is typed, but it looks like a type sort of font. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is uh, $12, uh, number 13. Those are my three items. <laughs> okay. It's funny, I keep, because your name keeps popping up with your husband using your name, I keep thinking, oh, Kim's here. Oh. Like, <laughs> the comments. We're laughing off to the side. Do you guys see me laughing? Because our cat is on the couch and he is snoring so loud. Oh, I don't hear it. So don't worry. Like, you can't we're hear like, me. I, I was, we were like kind of side-eyeing each other like... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy oh, all right old so, english font no it's not i don't think it's in goth yeah it's not it doesn't look like that <laughs> it looks more like like a uh, time new roman right pat yeah, like, a, like a typewriter like, like a, a typewriter, typewriter. yeah well, <laughs> a bit too modern a bit more modern font yeah yeah that because there was a break <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, my next piece is a piece of Francoma. It's a brown ceramic shamrock pottery. It's got the Francoma on the back. And even though it's brown, I thought it would be cute for St. Patrick's Day. You could stage it with some items. I just, I just, I love Francoma when I find it. I just like the feel of it and the ceramic and the glaze. It's always really, really nice quality. <laughs> this guy is going to be $8 in number 67. Dollars number sixty seven. Hey Christina, welcome back. Christina, you met you missed the pretty. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll show it again later if we have time. Michelle, Michelle snagged that one. Yay, Michelle. Yay. I had my suspicions who might grab all the St. Patrick's Day items. <laughs> <laughs> so next up is for the owl lovers, now I can't tell if this is hand painted on, but if you rub your finger over it, you can actually feel the texture of the wings. There's no maker's mark and, okay, I thought the grass was a signature for a minute. So you have this little guy on the side and then his whole family's watching him from the other side. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I just thought it was a real sweet mug. Like I said, if you run your finger over it, you can feel the texture of the, of the wings. So it, it could be hand painted. John, do you think that's hand painted? Getting a second artist opinion. But anyway, if you like the owl mug, it is going to be $6 and number 73. I think it is just a texture transfer on there. So $6, number 73 for the owl family mug. I just thought that was kind of cute. And then how is it I keep doing it so quick, Kim? <laughs> I think I talk too much, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like you're just like, when is Kim going to be done? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so next up, because you can't have a sale with Kim without having some sort of pink in it. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have this piece of ephemera. It's actually a music set. So it's all sheets of music. It is older. It does have that lovely old book odor. It's got some fading from time. But it's just got this beautiful pink and black. And I loved the graphics on the front. Very like Gone with the Wind to me. Scarlet O'Hara. So this is a whole book of waltzes. Um, they've got the about the family. And then just all your sheet music. And it's spiral bound. And it's probably like an 11...
It's a nine by 12 in size. So this is really great for anyone. Even if you look, if you're looking to junk journal, this would make a really great cover for that as well. Up, oh, <laughs> Belinda's <laughs> like, oh me, oh me. <laughs> Guys, are you ready? It's coming. <laughs> and number 70. It's, it's, very, 70. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love the cover. I know, and I found this, I was like digging in boxes at the flea market when I found this guy and I'm like, oh, the pink and black just, I love it. Oh, nice. Oh, see. Christina sniped it. <laughs> nice, Christina. <laughs> yeah, the fast internet tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kim, it's back to you. <laughs> I was like, well, I keep thinking, no, she's on her second one. I'm okay. All right. So the next item is um here you go. It's this white hot nail of uh, uh bud vase with uh please focus <laughs> with um uh light yellow roses and orange roses and green leaves. If it like there you go. Uh, it's very pretty and could put a flower. Oh, uh, I found online that this was actually um, a perfume decanter because it's from Avon. So it's just, it was like, when I got it, it was just the, the bud vase. Um, so you can use it as a vase. And it says, it's Avon. It says, um, what does it say? Oh, Charisma cologne <laughs> but there's no smell i promise so you don't have to worry about like washing out the smell there's just somewhere like you know on the inside i wash this just for you guys <laughs> i always wash my stuff so um uh so it's very pretty this uh there's like no chips and uh no cracks it's just wear on the inside so you could put i thought it'd be pretty for spring and st patrick's day whatever flower you want so this is um nine dollars and it is number six the nine dollars number six for the pretty floral uh hobnail uh, bud tree. i love the combo of rose colors on there the floral. right it's just it's like perfect with the hobnail it's just real it's real elegant yeah i thought it's pretty because even like it could go from spring to summer because of the colors. And then I have, um, uh, oh, here you go. Can't have a sale with me without a scarf in it. Scarves. <laughs> so we have this uh, white sheer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, I'm wearing a headband right now. It's a white sheer scarf with a yellow trim. Uh, I don't know if you could see That's that. Really cute. There. It's pretty, right? It has like these green polka dots with um like these yellow uh, uh with the daisies, and then the yellow trim keeps going um all around. Uh, uh so I thought it'd be pretty. You can wear it. Well, I can't see it on my hair right now. There you go. <laughs> it's so like, 70s boho awesome. <laughs> like this or on, <laughs> on your tight on your purse. I thought it'd be pretty if you don't want to wear it, you could even drape it like on a cabinet or something or uh, for St. Patrick's Day or spring Easter vignettes. So this is, um, it's in good condition and it's 44 and a half. Um, inches long and 14 and one fourth inches wide and this is um uh oh that worked that well it's 15 dollars for number 15. so 15 dollars number 15 for the pretty a uh, daisy scarf and i just love it and then you could you know you could also wear it like in a ponytail you have like a side ponytail put it draped like this <laughs> very pretty daisy sky um that's my second one right i can't keep wait yes that's my second one right yes okay <laughs> um i see you see it pat yes i know. oh my phone's a <laughs> i see is it jonah m 
Mm -hmm. Jonah M, thank you. Uh, please make sure you email me at um, omvintage at gmail.com. Jonah, I think has got some linens from me before. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> and I know she has a different name on Instagram. I think it's, I can't remember off the top of my head. Sorry, never mind. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, hi, D. My third one is a pair of earrings. So these pretty earrings, uh, here we go. Let's stay focused. Okay, there you go, yes. So these are gold tone um, latchback earrings. So they're uh, for uh, pierced earring, pierced ears. <laughs> and they're so pretty, it has like, if you can see it, it's like green and like a cranberry red and like a peachy pink star. Um, uh, it's one and five eight inches in length for the drop for from the top to here, and it's like three eight inches at its widest. Keeps their dangly earrings very pretty, and uh, this is um sixteen dollars. $16 for the pretty earrings for number 12. $16 uh, for number 12 for the earrings. And that's my third item, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm about to go through my last three, but because, I mean, we have time, we mm -hmm. can go back through and do a round of things that didn't sell. We'll just do another lap if that's cool with you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I have another trinket dish. And this one, it says, all I can read on the back is tarnish resistant. The poor tag is like all beat up, but it doesn't look like it was as tarnish resistant as they said. But I thought this had beautiful patina on it. It's got like the cut roses in the silver. So I, I think this would have, if I found this before Valentine's Day, it definitely would have been in one of those sales. But <laughs> I just really, really love the look of this. It is, I'm gonna do my ruler. I know things can look different sizes on the screen. It's uh, five and three quarter inches long and about four and a half inches wide. And I think if you polish that up, it would shine even better. But I kind of like that age look. Yeah. It is $8 and <laughs> number 70. It just gives something to it, right? Yeah. It has that patina, right, Christina? Yeah. <laughs> $8, number 72. The thrifty hip, hippie. Okay, I was almost right, Jonah. <laughs> I think in it. I remembered that. That's for the rose dish. Aw. <laughs> that team, John. So, Michelle, I have to do that as a shirt, right? Hashtag team John. John's actually designing some shirt concepts for me revolving around our kitty cats. So, we're going to have that coming. <laughs> so have one last piece of ephemera and this 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 guy has seen some love i dug it out of a box so like it does have some lovely age and patina someone stuck other paper to it <laughs> <laughs> but what's cool is it's a thousand and one advertising cuts from the 20s and 30s so these are copyright free images for personal use and i mean you've got like Oh, that's so cool. And I may just go big screen just for a sec so I can. <laughs> there we go. So there's that one. And I know I saw a uh, vintage Christmas in here too. Let me see. I should have marked it. Oh, here's a cool one. This is like Art Deco, all the jewelry ladies, hosiery. So these are things they would have used for ads. Here's some of the vintage Christmas. So even if you want to scan these or blow them up or just cut them out individually, there's just lots of really, really, here's Thanksgiving, really, really cool graphics in this. So I thought someone could still use it even though it like, this was from another book, I didn't want to like destroy it. <laughs> and the front is just singing away in the shower. <laughs> you see Belinda, she's like, pretty please me. <laughs> All right, here we go again, guys. 
This is going to be eight dollars and number sixty six. Eight oh. dollars and number sixty six. Just give it to Belinda. That's yeah, I know. Poor Belinda. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Belinda. <laughs> Belinda, I'll keep digging. I have more ephemera in my storage and I have a whole box, so I'll keep digging. I know you like music sheets and stuff. So this one goes to Reclaim Treasures by Mary. Thank you, Mary. Mary just got some cabinet cards for me in my last ephemera sale. And then my last item for this round is this super cool like picnic basket. It's a tin and it's got, I don't even know how I'm going to show this. It's got these really cool summer scenes on it. So it's like they're walking through a park. They've got their like fancy dresses on, but then on the side, this guy's like proposing. You've got your barber quartet going for a stroll in the carriage. Did I miss something? Oh, Belinda, she said, Mary, how could you? My finger is so slow. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Belinda. This is my favorite scene. They're in like the old style um, swimwear. But I thought this is a really great, great storage basket. So this is $14 and number 69, $14 and number 69 for the cool summer. <laughs> oh, Belinda. <laughs> She's like, just kidding, love you. <laughs> <laughs> and Diane Broderick gets that. Cool. Back to you, Kim. <laughs> I see, I keep forgetting, like, oh, that's our second art. That's okay, we'll get the hang of it. I know. Okay, so I have another pretty plate that I'm not keeping. Um, yeah. So it's this beautiful, like, light mint green iridescent. It's iridescent on the edges. Um, and uh, it has, like, gorgeous light pink uh, painted roses and leaves. Uh, and, like, it looks like Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, the like on a branch. So if you look closely, you can tell that it's painted, uh, and it has like these gold, pretty details like along the edges. Uh, and then in the back, it says it's from J. M. Roberts. Yes. So there's the font <laughs> of that one. It's so pretty. I thought it'd be perfect for, you know, same thing. St. Patrick's Day, if you like more of like that minty green color. Um, and then for Easter and spring. Uh, and this is a seven and a half inches across. And there's no chips, no cracks. It's so beautiful. It has like the iridescent uh, sheen to it along the edges. And it is Fifteen dollars, uh, number ten. So fifteen dollars, number ten for the pretty uh, plate. I love that color combination. Yeah, I thought of you and I saw this. I was like, oh, it's like a light aqua, like minty green. I love that. Ah, oh, D. I see D. Do you see her? Fill the circle. Aww. Thank you, D. Great, bye, D. That's awesome. Um. That one was popular. Yeah, it was very pretty. I thought it'd be a pretty like backdrop, like you put stuff in front of it. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't keep all the pretties. <laughs> um, uh, I have another scarf, and uh, it's a dark. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's a dark navy blue. Uh, like red, yellow, and green, uh, like printed scarf. Well, hold on. Can you see that, people? <laughs> um, so it is um, 31 by 31 inches. So you can wear this like in your hair, like in a ponytail. Pretend I have a ponytail <laughs> on the side, but it's a pretty print. 
and um, to wear it in your hair, like so, cover my headband, <laughs> or on your purse. Um, or I thought it was really cool, like you, if you don't want to wear it, you could also drape it on your like cabinet or something, like with the diamond point like that. Um, or uh, just wear it around your neck, like like drape. Sorry, it's just going really fast. <laughs> or have it like draped like this or something like that. Whatever you want. It's a very pretty print and it's in good condition. So for the scarf, um, I have uh, $15 for the pretty scarf. It has like hints of green in it. And uh, it's number three. So $15, number three for the pretty scarf. That could be worn many different ways. <laughs> and then, hold on. Um, okay, put this here. I have one more item, right? Yes. I showed that. Uh, okay. I my last item is a book, and uh. So it's a cookbook. I might have to have the screen again <laughs> because it's a big book. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> so um, uh, it's McCall's Illustrated a Dinner Party Cookbook from uh, the copyright. The copyright says 19, I'm pretty sure it's from 1970, but the beginning says 1961. And there's just somewhere on the inside, but wait till you see it. Um, uh, hold on. What did I put? One moment, please. Sorry, this is live stuff, people. Okay, so I love this book because you, it illustrates all of the steps in the cookbook. So like this side says in the Irish tradition. So for St. Patrick's Day, you could make, was it St. Pat? <laughs> Irish stew. You can make an Irish stew and look Deep at dish plum pie. Like and look at the sauce. graphics on this. Um that used to uh, yeah, so I was thinking of doing an offer up for this book because it's so unique. Um, I want to start it at um, $15 just because each page um, it illustrates all of the steps for this. So like, so if you're interested, just type in a uh, 15. Um, and then the next, on the next page is cool because it has, it says an Easter buffet. So you can see they illustrate like each step of what, how to make a uh, baked ham in biscuit crust with port wine sauce. Um, and, and then they also have a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, I just thought the illustrations were cool. Well, <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was cool. And then they show you like desserts and other illustrations in there and uh so i see thrifting in the hauler mickey for 15. uh so if anyone wants to put more than 15 hello <laughs> i i thought they were just so cool so if you want to put more than 15 to get i oh here's another funny thing well if i'm waiting for someone else to do offer up um where was that page? I want to make, oh, so I was asking Pat because I was reading the book and it said, where is it? This way. It says, a man's favorite dinner. And I asked him, would you like this recipe? Um, what does it say, Pat? Uh, well, let's see what the course is. Uh, it's guacamole with crisp vegetables. Um, butter sauce, baked tomato halves. Yeah. <laughs> garlic bread. But it's just funny because they have like a theme for each one. So I don't see anyone else 
<laughs> um, so I'm gonna count down. Uh, so I'm gonna count down. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so it goes to Mickey um, at Thrifting in the Holler. Uh, I really like this because you could even just have this as a backdrop, you know, with the symbol here. <laughs> so, yes, those are my 15 items. Okay. Well, I have um, four left over. I was going to run back through if that's okay. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll let you go through and then I'll do... Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's talking to me. Okay. So I'm going to show these again. This is a set of three doilies. And I'm just going to go big for this for a minute. So this is the, the largest one. And it is a 10 inch diameter one. So this has the double flower in the center. And it's like a, a pinky peach color. <laughs> with the white border. And then the next two are a single flower center and they are an eight and a quarter inch diameter and they are identical. So like I said, these would probably be more like for a TV stand and the other one would be for like a dresser topper or nightstands and dresser topper. The set of three of those was $8 and number 61. $8 number 61 for the peach and white doilies. Hey, perfecting pearls. Okay. Then I'm showing this guy again. This is a redware donkey with the pretty blue eyes. His paint is still in great condition. I thought he was super cute. He doesn't have any markings. He was $10 and number 64. $10, number 64 for the redware donkey. And then I'll show this. So this is a floral trinket box. It has a little bit of red wear on the bottom to the velvet from probably like dragging on a dresser. Did you see that, sweetie? Okay. Belinda got the donkey. And it's got the cute little flower topper. But the inside is nice and clean. I'm trying to find the camera. It's like... So this... Trinket box was nine dollars and number seventy one. And those were mine I was gonna reshow. Okay. Uh oh, are you showing everything or uh are we just well, doing a few at a time? <laughs> I have one plastic stitch book, but I did that one so recently I just kind of okay. everything okay. else. Should I just show like uh, three items or um and then you go back to you, okay? <laughs> Whatever you want to pick to show. Okay. So, so I tried showing this and it didn't want to focus. So hopefully it focuses again. It's this uh, 1975 lady in a frame uh, brooch necklace. Please focus for me. No, she does not want to. <laughs> she doesn't want paparazzi. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, but yes, yeah, so if you came in later, this is a pretty brooch necklace with a girl um, uh, wearing a hat. Yes, thank you, Lord. <laughs> so there she is. There's like little uh, white beads, and um, it's like in this frame brooch. So you could wear this as a brooch. It's a, a pendant necklace. And uh, the necklace was 24 and a half inches long. Um, I had this, oops, I had this for um, $18, but I can bring it down to um, uh, $15. And uh, the item number for this pretty necklace is number one. So number one for the brooch flash, uh, brooch pendant necklace. <laughs> So I could do 15 for uh, number one if you want this necklace. Um, and then for uh, oh, this one. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I 
I see John. <laughs> you got that one. Yay, Christine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then um I know you like those necklaces, so <laughs> The first time I went around, I was like, I want to type, but I can't because I hear it first. So I was like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I have this pretty plate. Uh, I know I'm not keeping it. It's a light green and pink rose floral painted dish with the gold accents. Um, it says it's from, from Germany. Yes, John's a good husband for typing that for you. <laughs> so Christine, Christina said. Um, so. Uh, oh yeah, so there's no chips or cracks on this. Uh, I had this for $12. Um, I could do this for uh, $10 and it's number 13. So $10 for the pretty uh, light green and pink rose floral painted dish. <laughs> and they get the full view of it. Oh. It's a pretty dish. Yeah, it's, oh, I yeah. see. Christina, postcards and patina. I knew you're gonna get that. <laughs> airbrushing on that. Love that. Thank you, Christina. You uh, uh, so what is it? Pick up, pick it up from my place. <laughs> um, she have her own special box where you just like each week put the. <laughs> like, girl, you know, I know you. I know you. <laughs> um, uh, I also had. This white hobnail with a flower bud vase uh, from Avon, Charisma. <laughs> There's no cologne smell, I promise. I washed it. There wasn't even a cologne smell when I got it. Um, but it's very pretty. Um, oh, hold on. So uh, I had $9 on this. I could do this for uh, $7. And it is uh, number six. So seven dollars for number six for the pretty bud face. Um, for number six. Okay. Uh, and then, sorry, how many items do you have left, Christine? I don't want to keep going. Um, you um, show some. I have one more I can show, but you can. You just. I mean, uh, Stephanie sales until eight o'clock. So, and you're normally on six to eight. So, okay. <laughs> um, we have a lot more people popping in now. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then I have, I have these pretty earrings. They're for uh, pierced ears. They're gold tone, uh, uh, last back, uh, clasp. Uh, uh, they're for they're for pierced ears, yes. <laughs> uh, it has a like green. I know you can't really see it, but I prom it's like green and like a cranberry red and like a peachy pink uh, star uh, earrings. And uh, they're one and five eighth inches in the length for the drop. Um, they were sixteen dollars, but I can do fourteen dollars on these pretty earrings. And they're number 12. So $14 for these pretty earrings. Could wear them or give them as a present for whoever you want. <laughs> so $14, number 12 for the earrings. And then. I'll make you a superstar. Yeah. <laughs> Belinda Carroll. Belinda Carroll, thank you. Hey, Belinda. Wait, what did I say? $14, right? Okay. Thank you, Belinda. And then I have, do I have a, this one, right? Yeah. Okay, and then I have uh, the scarf left. Um, the, the dark navy blue, yellow, red, and with hints of green. It's very pretty. 31 by 31 inches. You can even put this like uh, draped over your cabinet like this way if you want, if you don't want to wear it. It's such a pretty print. Um, and uh, this was a uh, $15, but I could do this for, um, I could do this for $12 for this scarf. And it is number three. So I could do 
Uh, number three for this pretty printed scarf that has like hints of green, red, and like a light yellow. And uh, yeah, those are the items that I went through. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm like hyphen and saying hi to new people and. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the one item I, I didn't go back through was, again, just this little embroidery book. It's called Book 3. It's alphabets, so it's all different embroidery alphabet patterns in all different fonts and styles. You've got your gothic, more gothic. There was some pretty floral in here. Scripts. So this is, I guess, like, if you had handkerchiefs and stuff, you can embroider them or pillowcases. You can monogram items and copy them. I wonder if there was a copyright on this. 1974. So this little ephemera book is $5 and number 62. $5 number 62. And maybe I'll re-show, re <laughs> just last time, because a few more people popped on. Just this triple doily set that was peach and white. The set of three were $8 and number 61. $8, number 61. And that wraps me up. Are you good? Yeah, I I pretty much went through awesome. um, all the stuff that I had left over. So. <laughs> so if you bought from us tonight, guys, remember our emails are down below. And Kim is shipping from New Jersey and I'm shipping from Florida. So we need you to email us your real name, your shipping address, your PayPal and your PayPal email. And if you have bought from me before, please go ahead and send me an email again. Cause like I said, I had some computer issues and I lost some information. So I'm going to need to be like Beth from Carolina princess and get me an address book and write it all. So I don't lose people's. <laughs> because my technology doesn't cooperate. But I, I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Kim, thank you so much for joining me on my channel tonight. Guys, if you don't know Kim, but I'm sure most of you do, make sure <laughs> she has a YouTube channel as well. Oh My Vintage, all of her info is down in the description. Be sure to check her out, subscribe. We're working to get her to 1,000 now. <laughs> she also has an Etsy and an eBay and all that info is down below. So thanks for coming out and supporting us tonight, guys. Kim, did you want to add anything? <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, uh, Christine, for having me. As uh, This is my first uh, joint live sale, so I had so much fun. And thank you, everyone who came out to uh, check us out and shop with us and chat with us. Um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, please make sure you... Uh, email Christine at side street. Sure. Oh, do you have a new email address? Right, side street sales at gmail.com. Yeah, and uh, and please email me all of your information, just like Christine said, uh, at my email address below at omvintage at gmail.com. Uh, yeah, but I had a lot of fun. Uh, thank you so much for coming to our my first joint live sale with wonderful Christine at Side Street Market. And don't forget to check her out as well and her YouTube and subscribe or Etsy and eBay, all the fun stuff. <laughs> but and yeah. we'll, have to do this, we'll have to do this again sometime when we can fit in the schedules if you like. Yeah, was, I'll def I definitely want to do another one. This was so much fun. Um, maybe we'll pop on your channel that time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll swap channels. Yeah, we'll do it again. <laughs> it was fun hanging with you all. So make sure you got that thumbs up and subscribe. And to all of our moderators, thank you so much. And I totally forgot the beginning, guys. I'm so sorry. So I'm just going to let go for... I know. I got it. Diane wants the doilies. <laughs> <laughs> Last minute comments coming in. But I forgot to say, guys, I meant to say at the beginning or the end, if you have a channel and you want to share it in the chat, go ahead. Um, we are going to ending the video in just a minute so you can also feel free under this video in the comment section if you have a channel you want to share you can do it there too i'm sorry i meant to say at the beginning while we were warming up that you guys could put your info in because you know we want to support each other so once again have a great night everyone and we'll catch you later bye good night everyone <laughs>